Tour. I'm here with Christy Rose. Hey Christy, how you doing? I'm doing wonderful, thank you. So tell me about yourself. How did you get started? Uh, well, I went to fashion design school at Virginia Commonwealth University, Richmond, Virginia. And that's where I started. I moved to California. I've worked in pretty much every kind of business to do with fashion that you could. Behind the scenes, Fox Studios, hand making of jewelry, clothing. And then after I moved here, I decided I wanted to do my own line and focus on doing the actual design myself because I had missed it so much in the industry. Yeah. Well, I, they're beautiful. Thank beautiful. you. Thank you um, so, much. so tell me, like, how can we find you? Uh, well, my website is www.krosecouture with a K.com. Okay. So, what do you have next? What, what's next? Anything new? Um, right now, I just finished the Las Vegas Fashion Week and then the Fashion in the City tour. So, I'm actually going to take a little bit of a break <laughs> and probably do some photo shoots and some special orders because um, that's basically what I do special orders for pretty much any kind of fashion that you could think of. I will make it for you personalized to your size and tank tops, tank dresses, fun stuff, whatever you'd like. Oh, that sounds amazing. And they can also friend me on Facebook, Christy Rose, and that's I post all my pictures. You can get in touch with me that way also. I definitely will friend you on Facebook, I promise. <laughs> I'm here with Shelly Blacknell. Hey Shelly, how are you doing? Good, how are you tonight? I'm good. So this is my first fashion show and I loved it. Thank amazing. So please tell me a little bit about yourself. Again, my name is Shelly Blacknell, and I'm the creator of this show tonight, Fashion in the City. Tonight's cause was definitely for um, Children's Hospital of UMC. Um, we I give back to the community because they need it, and it's dear to my heart for the NICU because my son was in the NICU. So definitely inspired me to do this. And then the show also was about emerging designers. There's no platform for them, and I'm a designer my, myself, so I wanted to give them something where they can show their beautiful talent. Yeah. Well, I truly loved your designs. Thank They're amazing. You. Appreciate it. So tell me um, uh, about like the links we can find you at. Um, the website actually is fashioninthecitytour.com. Keep going there because we're coming to a city near you soon. So you can definitely check me out there again. Fashioninthecitytour.com. LA is next. Be ready. <laughs> So what's next for you besides LA? Anything else big? Why? Oh, yeah, we're looking to go global. Paris, Africa, like all over the place, literally. Fashion the City tour. We are touring. We're going everywhere. Yeah. Is there anything you want anybody else to know about you that we don't know? Uh, me? I'm, well, I'm originally from Gary, Indiana, actually, and um, I've just always been into fashion since a little girl. So it inspired me to definitely move to LA. And um, I didn't want to do New York. New York was kind of a little scary to me, I think. So like, eh, LA made me a little detour. So I went there to start my fashion business, and here I am, definitely. You ever, you ever move to New York to do anything? Know. Maybe by coastal. Right. Let's say by coastal. We can do that. <laughs> and then other thing personal again is my son, my four-year-old son, Justice. And he's a, definitely a reason why I did this tonight. And giving back to the NICU, because like I said, he was in the NICU as well for seven weeks. So I get it. I get what these women go through. How old are you doing now? Oh, he's four, he's way up here and very healthy. Healthy baby boy, definitely, yeah. Well, I'm really glad to hear that and thank you so much for speaking with me, it's great to you. Very nice to meet you. Tour, benefiting Children's Hospital of Nevada at UMC. I'm here with Karen Gordon. Karen, I understand that there's 4,000 children born at your hospital alone. Yes, there is. And we're very, very grateful for the donation of this event. 
to so that the money stays locally in our community and comes back to benefit all the children at the hospital. We are specifically focusing on our neonatal unit, which is where our tiniest babies are born. So babies even as small as one pound are born in our neonatal unit. And this will give the benefit of this fundraising charity will give us some resources that we need to give those babies a healthy start. So is this uh, your first event or do you do many in Vegas? We do lots of events in Vegas. Um, I mean, we don't. We're not with Fashion in the City, but we there are a lot of people that donate to the Children's Hospital. And we are very grateful for any and all donations because, as I said, we are, we are the only Children's Hospital here in Las Vegas. We are part of the National Children's Hospital Association, which makes us one of 216 in the country. And that is a huge resource for not only the Las Vegas community, but the regional community because we have exclusive services like our burn, trauma, transplant that no other hospitals have. And how can we find you? How can we donate? How can we help? Absolutely. You can go online to childrenshospitalofnevada.org and there's a, a, a online donation site where you can just click give and any and all donations can come into the hospital and will be earmarked for Children's Hospital and our neonatal unit specifically for the benefit of this event. Okay. Well, thank you so much for talking to me and I will definitely donate to your charity. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate your time. I'm here with the Cereal Hogs. Let's go, let's go. What's your name? My name is Trace Kennedy, TK underscore Stereo Hogs. What's up, y'all? I'm Trey Bad. What's going on, Justin, AKA at just underscore Stereo Hogs? I'm John Glenn, uh, John underscore Stereo Hogs. Follow us on Twitter. Yo, what up? It's your boy KG, Stereo Hogs. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so tell me a little bit about yourself. How'd you, how'd you guys get started? Oh man, we started back in like high school. We uh, started as a three-man group, and uh, we got some good buzz just doing some local shows. And shit, we was like, we should take it a little bit more serious. And we added two more members, and uh, we've been rocking since then. So who were the three original? These guys. We, is a, nice. we, we like to call ourselves the founders, but you know, it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys are part of the group. That's oh, awesome. Oh well, we're glad to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Freaks all the honey, this is funny. Now the crew's getting funny, funny, funny. 
It's a little goose with that on it too. Look at her body, got a brown loose. Eh? She said she wanted a shot, then I bought a two. Beep, beep, thought a drop, then I bought a coupe. Yeah, yeah. Look friend that I got a two. Yeah. But you know you got to dance for the dollars. Hey, when I'm your man, let me see you do your dance. If you body, let me see you put your hands in the air. If you got it, you girl, you're coming home with me. If, if you're feeling what we're saying. We're a hip-hop and R&B group, you know what I'm saying? We're uh, living in L.A. right now, so, you know, we're getting it in. So where can we find you guys? What, what links? What? Oh, man, we got all kinds of links. We got uh, at the Stereo Hogs on Twitter and Instagram. You can go to our Facebook. That's uh, facebook.com backslash the Stereo Hogs. Reverb Nation uh, backslash the Stereo Hogs. And we got the uh, website coming, like, real soon. So 4th of July, the website jumping off. Um, www.hogs is H O G Z Z is double Z. <laughs> Trying to get fancy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Anything else you guys want to add? Oh man, just uh, we got a lot of performances coming up. We have a, um, we're doing Essence Festival. Um, we got uh, a South American tour, and um, for August. the Flower Festival that's in August. So it's going down, man. It's going to be a really. Big Are you guys concert. excited? Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. So we just we just touring around. We just going and taking over the world, you know what I'm saying? So we also have a new song called Vegas that we're going to release in Vegas. Oh. It's strictly for all the Vegas people, so I hope everybody enjoys this when it drops. Oh, you're going to shoot it here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we've we already been shooting. We've been shooting it this whole weekend while we've been here, so it's been crazy. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, thank you so much for talking, you guys. I appreciate it. And that's my twin brother, Famous. What up, what up? So tell me a little bit about yourself. How'd you, how'd you guys get started? Well, it's been a long road. I started out writing my own rhymes, you know, started out by myself. And, you know, like Twin Brothers, he ended up hearing some of my stuff. And then he kind of started joining in. And tagged along. A long story short, a friend of mine said, you guys are going to be rich and famous one day. And we ran with it, you feel me? So here we are now, you know, performing and, and getting the brand out there, you know? So you said you guys were traveling. Like, where are you traveling to? Well, we just came from New York. I mean, we're from New York, but we've been in Miami. So we went to New York, did 106 in Park, then we came over here. We're going to do some stuff in L.A., and then we're going back to Miami and just moving around. we got some other shows that we're working on to lock in. So just trying to, you know, keep it moving and keep working, you know? Crazy but fun, right? Oh, absolutely. It's a grind. Come and shake that, shake that, shake that. But only if you got it, girl, you got it, girl, you got it. And you get me, and I get hot, and you get low. We sit sick, but we still young, so let's get free. The high end is just me. I'm a temperature, Andre Grazzi. Good vibes are so hypnotic. Sit sipping on that new boat. Acknowledge like combined. Not fly like where the sky is. But she probably still in college. But acting from some island. And for us, girl, you got it. We're well, moving and you vibing. Oh, something oh, about oh, your body. I wonder if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like the cold is for in the AM. Feel like it's more, but I never really say it. We just released a, a mixtape called uh, Your Boyfriend's Nightmare uh, with, with, with uh, Don Cannon and DJ Infrared out of Orlando, uh, 95.3. Um, and it's on Dat Piff, it's doing pretty good right now. 
Um, last year we released a, another mixtape called Ready for Takeoff with Don Cannon as well. So we gearing right now just promoting the mixtape and um, getting a buzz up for the actual album, which is going to be called Fly But Plane. I like the Boyfriend's Nightmare title. That's yeah. yes. <laughs> that's, that's actually how we are. Like even if we weren't artists, we've always been around the women, and we've always had that kind of image towards people that look at us. So it's just kind of a natural fit, you know. TV. I'm here with the owners of Jess Monster Shoes and Accessories. So introduce yourself, please. I'm Zakia, one of the owners and designers. This is Malika. She's also an owner designer. This is Veronica, one of our models. And then over here we have Shauna. She is another one of the designer owners. Kiyomi Hall, designer owner, and Toyo, one of our models as well. So these are our shoes, and our concepts come from just you know ideas that we come up with and. You know, we're inspired by just looking at a chandelier. We might say, hey, that's nice. Let's make a shoe. Nice. <laughs> so, so that's what we do in accessories, earrings, jewelry, things like that. So, well, How did you guys get started? When did you guys get started? Well, we've been doing this for about two years now. Um, we were just bored one day and we just said, hey, let's just, we love to stand out. That's the yeah. biggest thing. You know, as a woman, you want to stand out when you go to the club and stuff like that. So we decided to make our own shoes and accessories. So we got so much attention, we said, let's make a business out of it. So that's how we started. What types of like, accessories do you have? Earrings, necklaces. Um, she has on earrings. We, you know, we do fabric, Eyelash. eyelashes. You know, just accessorize the outfits. You know, we also dibble into some of the clothing as well, but we haven't put it out yet. But yeah, yeah, yeah. coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it will be great and as beautiful as your Thank shoes you. are. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank These are beautiful. You. All right. All righty. Thanks. I'm here with Soraya Christine celebrating her book launching in the La Quinta Inn. When is strong, strong enough? So Soraya, please tell me about yourself and where you're from. Um, originally I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I have been in Las Vegas for almost nine years. Yes, so this is home now. Absolutely. Um, I'm a single parent, three beautiful children. One off to college, one on their way soon, and another one, well, we'll work on him because he has a few more years to go. Yeah. <laughs> I met him, he's adorable. Thank you. So please tell me, uh, what's uh, the inspiration for your book? Well, initially my book was meant for therapy for me. Um, I was going through a lot of things, and so I just started to write them down to try to heal myself. Mm -hmm. And um, I just, you know, got a word that it just wasn't about me and that somebody else needed to read it. There's somebody else out there that is struggling with some of the same issues that I struggle with that need to know how to be able to push through that pain. Definitely look for me, Google me. Um, you can find the book anywhere at this point. Uh, so tell me a little bit about your book. Ooh, um, it's so funny that it's a nonfiction, but it's it's so juicy. It's drama filled. It's trauma filled. Um, definitely have a box of tissue handy. Um, it talks about a lot of the pain that I experienced starting from an early age on. Um, I'm not going to give you too much about it. Definitely want to go pick it up, but um, just know that it's it's full of encouragement. If it's full of support and it's full of advice on how to view things differently than you normally may view them. Quite a few men have been purchasing my book and have been leaving me tremendous reviews about the book. So I guess my audience is much broader than I thought. Basically, the book can reach anybody who has ever struggled with any type of trauma. People are hungry. Well, how can that be when there's so much money? Everywhere I look, people want to be rich. Some people hate, and some people snitch. Some people lie, and you know some people steal. Some people, well, they'll do anything to get a meal. But do you really get the value of what some things cost? And shouldn't the people who work the hardest get to eat the most? Are we really being left out if we don't follow their lead? Maybe more of us should ask, who moved my cheese? So instead of just waiting on a check or slots to pay off big, maybe we should be trying to line up another gig. So while I sit here hungry, lost, and confused, another mouse is plotting on how I might be used. Now we all have needs. And we all want to eat. Some of us are leaning while others stand on both feet. 
But when it's all said and done, there'll be one question asked and only one. So will somebody tell me please, who in the world moved my cheese? Another day And I can't stop thinking about the boy of my dreams It's kind of crazy But he gets me that way Make a million. Hey, this my cut. She clean it like a surgeon. Yeah, ain't poppin' cherry, so we invite virgins. Follow us to Rena, Hennessy and Chaser. Make a get dough. She could probably be a baker. Ass so fat, but she don't need a diet. Six flags had it, made me wanna ride it. Ass so fast, sweatpants can't hide it. We can hear that thing clapping. Everybody be quiet.